Toastmaster Online Zoom Meetings. Is it worth it? Hello, my name is Jason Silverstein, and I first joined Toastmasters in 2011, and I'm based in Sarasota, Florida. As many of you know, our meetings are all online now, at least in my location of Sarasota, and probably most places around the world. And we're using Zoom. And many of you are probably using Zoom. And my question is, is it worth it? The reason why I'm asking this question is because I've noticed that we have lost some members. I am in two Toastmaster clubs and we have lost a few members. One club is stronger than the other. And it just probably, I'm probably just thinking that if people are not coming, they're probably thinking that maybe it's just not worth it to them. And I wanted to go over the, the benefits and detriments of having a Zoom meeting. First, the benefits. And I would like to know your opinion at the end of this video, whether you think the online Zoom meetings are worth it or not. The benefits. The benefits to me are, number one, we have a meeting. Think about it, if we couldn't do an online meet, Zoom meeting, we wouldn't have any meeting whatsoever. And what's better than no meeting? A meeting. So I get to work on my public speaking skills pretty much the same as if we were in a room full, full of people. And the benefit number two is that we get to practice talking into a camera, which is great, just great practice in general. I think as technology evolves and the world evolves, we were gonna have more meetings online by Zoom or whatever the latest technology is anyway. So we're just getting there at a faster pace because of this pandemic. Another benefit is we could do this at the comfort of our own home. We don't have to go anywhere or if we're in the office now, we could do it at the office. We no longer have to travel to a Toastmasters location to have a meeting. Our meeting is wherever we're in at the time. Even if we're outside, we could just put on the Zoom app and do it outside. I think that's a, a tremendous benefit. Now for the detriments. Now, I don't know which, which one is worse, but here are the two detriments as I see it. No audience reaction. This is big for me because I have a tendency to make my speeches funny. That's something I enjoy doing and a little humor. It makes it more fun for me and definitely makes it more fun for the audience. Please don't discontinue. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm not great at vocal variety or anything like that. The way I break up my speeches is by putting in some humor. And now I still do that, but I don't know if, it, if, if I'm funny or not. You, you just know you can't hear the you can't hear the laughter. If you look, maybe you can see people sm uh, smiling or, or laughing, but it's silent because during the meeting everyone's on mute except for the speaker. So there's no audience reaction to feed off. If I say something funny, everybody laughs, I get, I get, I get going. That really spurs me on during the speech and we, we don't really have that right now. And the second thing, this is really huge for me, is we cannot talk to the people after the meeting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great speech that you did, so you're really good. Yeah, yeah, you have broke thumbs up. It's just, it's just work. Had some great conversations with fellow Toastmaster members after the meeting. I really enjoyed that. Now that I can't do it anymore, and now I really miss it. Usually, once the meeting's over, just the host just clicks it off and, and everybody leaves and, and, and that's it. There's no talking after the meeting. And there's really not much talking before the meeting either. So we're not really talking to our fellow Toastmaster members, which was a big deal for me 
and maybe it's a big deal for a lot of you. I just went over the, the benefits and detriments of having an online Zoom meeting. To summarize, the fact that we have meetings at all is really great. And I'm getting out of it what I really need to get out of it anyway. The reason why I joined Toastmasters in the first place was to get better at public speaking. Because I knew if I can get better at public speaking, I will be able to talk better to people one-on-one -on -one and in small groups. And that's always been my main purpose. And I'm able to accomplish that with these Zoom meetings. Yes, it would really be wonderful if I go to meetings with actual people and be able to hear the audience and be able to talk to them afterwards. But you know what? It's also fantastic that I can attend the meeting from the comfort of my own home. That's what I think. But I'd really like to know what you think. What do you think are the benefits and detriments of an online Zoom meeting? Do you think the Zoom meetings are worthwhile to you? And what would you tell someone who's thinking of joining Toastmasters at this time? What would you tell them the benefits are now? Because the benefits have certainly changed from when we used to meet in person. Please answer that below in the comments section. And if you got some value out of this video and you'd like to see more videos like this, I do a lot, of, I do about a few, two, three videos a week, go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.